Harry's lies and inconsistencies in memoir have been debunked. Here are the inconsistencies in the story of Archie's birth. What sensible doctor would let a woman who just had a difficult birth out of hospital? Let alone one over 35. None. Remember the drama that ensued when it was revealed that Harry and Meghan deceived the world by claiming Meghan had gone into labour, only for it to come out later that she already had Archie. Harry claims that Archie's head ended up stuck and that Meghan had to continue pushing to bring their son into the world. Many people have called foul of this, including Meghan's mole. Meghan's mole, a YouTuber with a child of her own, has said that no sensible doctor would allow any mother out of the hospital after two hours, let alone one who'd had a difficult birth. She said she spoke from the experience of having a child a couple of years ago. She also mentions that if a child gets stuck or has the umbilical cord around its neck, the mother does not keep pushing. What's more is that Harry claims Meghan was given Mexican food during her labour. Any sensible person who's been to a hospital knows you can't eat before any procedure, including childbirth. If something happens, the contents of the stomach become a choking hazard. Prince Harry says he used laughing gas and ate Nando's to enhance his calm during the birth of his son. Writing about the scene at the private Portland hospital in London in 2019, he says his wife Meghan was so calm. He was calm too, he says, but he saw two ways of enhancing the state. One, Nando's chicken, brought by the bodyguards. Two, a canister of laughing gas beside Meg's bed. I took several slow, penetrating hits. Meg, bouncing on a giant purple ball, a proven way of giving nature a push, laughed and rolled her eyes. I took several more hits and now I was bouncing too. When Megan's contractions began to quicken and deepen, the nurse came and tried to give her some gas. However, there was none left. The nurse looked at the tank, looked at me, and I could see the thoughts slowly dawning. Gracious, the husband's taken all of it. Sorry, I said meekly, he writes. Meg laughed, the nurse had to laugh, and quickly changed the canister. He didn't use it during the birth of his daughter, he writes. This time, I didn't touch the laughing gas because there was none. I was fully present, he writes. This claim only drives the surrogacy rumours further because it sounds like Harry is just plucking information out of thin air. Meghan Markle's move to snub Queen Elizabeth II's doctors only intensified the rumours claiming that she faked a pregnancy. Markle rejected Queen Elizabeth II's doctors because she doesn't want men in suits to oversee her delivery. However, her move only prompted her critics to continue accusing her of orchestrating fake pregnancy. According to Jack Elsom of the Daily Mail, there's a particular YouTube profile with over 30,000 subscribers attacking Meghan. One video watched over 200,000 times claims to provide absolute proof of Markle duping the public. The clip claimed that the former suit star is only using a prosthetic belly. A number of royal fans believe the conspiracy theory, with one saying that it's disgusting how Markle is insulting everyone's intelligence. A number of netizens also took to Twitter to discuss the same issue. Loredana Greco shared a photo and a video of Markle with a wibbly-wobbly baby bump. She insisted that Meghan is not pregnant and snubbed the Queen's doctors because she wants to keep a moon bump and surrogate a secret.